Hey everybody, welcome to Smash Pads uh, Top Games for 2019. Uh, this is number two here, The Outer Wilds, uh, which is the newest game from Obsidian, uh, published by, is a 2K joint, uh, managed publishers, now they're owned by uh, Microsoft, so uh, I assume it will kind of go under their umbrella. Uh, for a sequel, if that ever happens, or whatever the deal is, whoever knows. Uh, but this game has been a very good game this year, uh, one of the best, and uh, ranked highly on a number of our staffers' lists. Uh, personally, it didn't make mine, just because I, th I found a lot of other stuff that kind of really spoke to me a little bit more than this. But this game kind of combines the, the best of games like Fallout and Mass Effect. It's like you have your own ship to explore. Uh, and collect things for it uh, from your adventures as well as your people to talk to and Ada here is our ship AI who is very sassy and all that uh, you can explore their little rooms find all their little trinkets and such you can talk to people when they have stuff to say yeah here's uh, uh, my partner Ellie uh, unfortunately uh, I've exhausted a lot of that stuff so there's not too much it's Sam there's a uh, little robots you can get uh, also has weird, uh, hey, you can't have you anymore, which for some of these members uh, is like the off. first thing that's shown on their thing like this. So if you're accident, you got to be very careful when you're looking around for that stuff. But yeah, also uh, a lot of stuff like, hey, there's tons of stuff to pick up and uh, materials and health items and mods and all this kind of stuff. Uh, lots of quests. It does a really smart thing with... Uh, the way its quests are done, which is that you can botch them. So there's a convenient botched category, which this is just me telling a guy like, hey, I'm going to go sell somebody else and it just didn't let me finish it. So it's a little bit weird, but codex stuff for all the information uh, on top of that. As well as you can manage your own party members, weapons and such. Uh, and sort of make sure they're at their best. Uh, though not all these are the ones I use, so they're not all outfitted well, but uh, we're going to hop in and play uh, a little bit more here. Uh, you know, like, here's workbenches and such to improve your items and all that. So I got a little quest here. I'm going to go to Phineas's lab. Uh, Phineas is the person that uh, brings you back uh, from the deep sleep, whatever it's called. And you have an option early on to turn him in because he has uh, a sketchy past that uh, makes him... Uh, hey, that means he has like a big uh, bounty on his head as so you can sort of tune him turn him in if you want which I'm kind of in the process of doing I've been like Mass Effect and follow I'm just exploring every area I'm going in uh, picking up all the quests completing everything I can that kind of thing so you know we're doing a lot of stuff here uh, that involves that and I got my partners here Ellie and Parvati they're both the best uh, and they do a lot of smart writing in this game can you hear me uh, sometimes it can be a little bit more binary uh, than you might want, but a lot of times they offer a lot of flexibility. So you can have kind of, uh, if you don't know, of uh, uh, Obsidian's past work. They worked on Fallout New Vegas, and people really liked the way that there were kind of a lot of flexibility in the way you approach situations there. And this kind of has a similar feel, uh, especially, you know, a lot of ways of like just digging around for information. You can. Uh, if you have, you know, speech checks, uh, a lot of times you can be just be like, hey, uh, I know this thing, and this, you know, essentially means, like, you can get around uh, doing maybe the upfront option, that kind of thing. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to take everything I can. Uh, with, like, high speech check for me, for my character here, uh, that means that we end up, all right, I can walk into places, steal stuff in front of people, and be like, no, you didn't see that. And there's like, oh, okay. Well, that's weird. It just seemed like it. Uh, and all that. But also, you know, the game can be pretty easy if you're uh, doing what I do, and that is pick up everything. As you can see there in my corner there, I have almost 2,000 ammo for this pistol. Uh, and this is like a spec'd up pistol, too, uh, called the Salvager's Helper, which just blasts up people. Also has elemental damage to it. Like, I'm not worried about ammo anymore at this point. You know, here's a, a power weapon I have. I guess using the same ammo there. That one, too. Huh, are these all? No, this ain't. 
Uh, yeah, because these are using different things. Yeah, it's heavy. Uh, that's using light. Light, heavy, light. Okay, this one uh, is using heavy stuff. I don't know which one it is, though. Like this one? I think that's the one that was. Yeah, that's a little bit lighter. I don't know. But yeah, it's like a power weapon, which if I need to get a little bit more damage in there, I can do that. Uh, instead of that, there is this, like, slowdown ability. So you can go boom, 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 boom. And uh, get out of it. As well as, like, I got uh, dashes to jo dodge out of the way. I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. Yeah, and Phineas Wells I'm here. I've not been this to this area, so I've kind of gone down that path a bit. And it, they give you plenty of leeway to kind of go down it before you uh, actually go through with it. But uh, uh, the particular quest I'm on here is I'm looking for special weapons. And his lad has one, so... Uh, Probably not too much more to say, especially without spoiling things. But, uh, yeah. That is kind of what is pretty cool about this. Uh, at any point, you can kind of talk to your partners. Be able to say, like, yeah. huh? they might have something to add on things. Or just say, like, hey, screw you, get out of here. Which I have not done yet, but conveniently, it's the top option. I don't think they've fixed that yet. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff around here. You go, like, just uh, look at, you know, go to the terminals. Look at all the messages. You know, I got a high hack skill, so I can do that. And you get XP for all that stuff, so there's no reason not to. Basically, anytime you see it as an option in your... Ooh, I got an item here. Pocket watch. That might be an item that somebody actually likes. That fits one of the my uh, shipmates' uh, interests. And so it might show up in their room. Yeah, like there's a bunch of crazy looking creatures that are on these different planets. Uh, but yeah, for, uh, in exchange for not having a big world like, uh, the Bethesda stuff does, you kind of have these smaller areas, but with a lot of density to them of stuff to pick up and, uh, find and all that. Some areas are a little bit bigger than others, like, this isn't a very big area, but you get to, uh, the ship is kind of the equivalent of, I think it's the... Citadel? I just picked that up. Oh, Shrink Ray. Okay. He's also got a pig just walking around called Bubbles for some reason. He's also got this dude hanging around in here. I don't know what reason. Or I might be able to let him out at some point. Who knows? Uh, and he's just trying to talk to me here, but yeah, kind of, this is like what you want to do probably most of your time is pick up posters and such, because it'll probably be interest to, of people on your party. But also you can make decisions that change how things go, but I believe there's sort of like some other uh, of these kinds of games that things eventually get to a finite point. There's a note there that says buy ladder, which is a weird thing, but obscure body in the SK system. Those might be like hints, like whatever SK is. If that is one of the the planets here in this system, then that might be something I want to take on. But yeah, if I also want to just shoot this dude, I think I can. It'll tell you, like, hey, shoot here, it's going to blind, it's going to knock him back. You know, this will cripple the leg, that kind of thing. Uh, it's a pretty cool system, but also on the difficulty I am on, it's not too hard right now. So, you know, it's all up to what you kind of want out of it. Uh, and if you just don't care about difficulty, you just want the story, you know, play on normal or the, the easiest one, like, you're not really gonna lose anything really by doing that, uh, other than just, you know, pure challenge, so I can, like, talk to him, uh, but yeah, that is kind of, uh, The Outer Worlds, it's a pretty cool game, uh, I definitely do want to get back to it and play some more of it, but, uh, I've played a good chunk of this game, uh, and yeah, I like it a lot. Uh, I just happen to like other games a lot more, so nothing really against this game. But yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for the other videos here on our YouTube channel or smashpad.com uh, for the other games on our top 10. Thank you. Have a good one.